This is Rose Relinata, and it's a very neat Pedalaria sundew um, with some really nice maroon colored leaves. And I really enjoy the contrast between the kind of white pedial with uh, the small white hairs that you can kind of see it from this video. Um, they coat the peels, and then they contrast really nicely with the, the really dark maroon um, of these really nice circular leaves. Um, the plant you see here um, I, I received from a good friend, um, so I, I haven't really had a chance to grow them from seed, but judging by Drosera paradoxa, um, in terms of how similar these two grow, uh, I grew Drosera paradoxa from seed in just a year, so you can pretty much expect that this, this should be about the same. As far as um, cross-pollination goes, you will need to cross this with a genetically unrelated plant in order to get seed production. Um, so that could be, you know, another um, genetically different Rosfer Lanata, or it could be any Pedalaria sundi you want to try crossing the plant with. And most of the time, it'll work. Um, so, other than that, um, I guess feeding really encourages the, the largest growth with these Pedalaria sundews, and all sundews for, for that matter. Uh, but you can kind of see um, on these older leaves that I was feeding, they kind of molded. So, um, I n need to watch exactly where I'm putting the food uh, in this high humidity condition that I'm growing them in, um, which is in this Sterilite shoebox container with uh, saran wrap that I draped or I seal over the top of the container with. And then these, um, this plant is growing within about one inch or 1.5 inches from the lights, um, which you can kind of see my setup here. I brought the light back down. Um, so you can see that the plant is getting a lot of light. And uh, these plants are situated on a um, heat vent, or on top of a heat vent, so which is right here. So they're staying pretty balmy around 85 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, even without a heating pad underneath them. So that really helps encourage maximal growth is when they're in a really hot condition and uh, have lights very close within their, their leaves. Um, that you can see this plant is looking pretty happy. So uh, without further ado, I think we're going to wrap this up. So that was Drosra Lanata. Hope you enjoyed.